G'day guys, this week I wanted to see if I can make a platform for a speed ball or speed bag. Now I wanted to make a platform that you can attach to any door or any smooth surface. So I wanted to use suction cups. Now I also wanted to see if I could use the same concept or the same platform for a freestanding punching bag or a cobra bag. <laughs> Now the whole design is based on these things. These are double suction cap, cup, double suction cup um, handles, and they're sold all over the internet. You can get it for about 10, 12 bucks, and they're phenomenal. You need a couple of these for this project, but I'm also going to make one with three. But let me show you just how good these are that attaching to a smooth surface like the tiles down here. So they have these levers here, and once you put put them lock the levers in they're super super solid they're so rigid you cannot move them having two of them will make for a beautiful platform now to attach this to an MDF board you need these they're called pipe collars and this is a one inch pipe collar so galvanized one inch pipes this fits onto them so here's a galvanized um, steel pipe this is a collar for it and that's the that's the size you want. You want the one inch, the one that goes for the one inch galvanized steel pipe. Now that then can go onto your handle. And that's the reason why I put duct tape on the handle. So there's a nice firm grip when I put that on. There's just a little bit of space there. But once I tighten the screws in on the board, onto the board, that's going to sit nice and tight. And I've got a couple of them. So I've got one at the top and one at the bottom. So now it's ready to be attached to an MDF board. All right, so for my platform for the, um, I'm using an MDF board. You can use chipboard. They're fairly easy to cut using a, um, a jigsaw. So what I've done is I've basically cut out these sections here so I can access the, the levers on the suction cups and same here and on this side. Now, if you were just going to use this for the base, for like your punching bag, uh, freestanding punching bag or cobra bag, you wouldn't even need that. You just have a section in the middle that attaches um, just a plank, really, that's got your um, flange in the middle. And I'm using a one inch flange and I've bolted it on in the middle there. So that is now pretty much ready to be used as a uh, punching bag platform base. Um, fairly sturdy. Let me show you. All right, guys, I've activated the suction cups, and this thing is super stable. Here's the Cobra bag, not moving an inch. And look, hardly any sound. There's no sound whatsoever. So it's perfect. Next week, I'm going to actually try to use three of these and create a platform specifically just for this. So stick around for that. Alright, so this makes for a really good platform. Next week, I'm going to refine it some more and make one with three of these. So it's even more sturdy. However, this week, I actually want to see if I can make out of this a speed bag platform where I can mount this onto a wall, a side of a truck, a fridge, or a door perhaps. And then have a section at the top where I mount my speed bag. So, this is what I'm going to need. For my um, speed bag platform, the top part, I'm using an MDF board as well. You can use a chip board. It's roughly two foot by two foot, and I've already attached the base for my swivel in the middle, and I've cut out a nice round shape for the front of it, just so it's, I don't know, nice and angular. You can just sort of leave it square if you wanted to. But basically, this is now going to be the top section of my setup. Now, to make sure that it's braced properly, I bought two of these, these brackets. These are stainless steel with a brace here. And it's got three holes on these so on each side. So that's gonna go there. Like that. With the two of them. Let me connect and show you. 
So here it is guys. I've attached it using these braces, these angle things. They're steel, they're very robust and they're going to dampen any vibrations caused by the speedball. Now, I'm going to attach it to my door in a sec. I have tried it already and the door is a little bit flimsy. So I need to work out a way to attach it to an outer wall, like a brick wall, and perhaps have to paint the wall with like a lacquer so these can adhere to it. They need like a, a clean, smooth surface. Now you can attach it to the side of a truck or a van or something like that. But in my case, I've got a brick wall just here. So I'm going to do that in another episode. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to a door and show you. Okay guys, well here I've got a door in the corridor to one of the bedrooms. And as you can see, it's a little bit flimsy on this end, but next to the hinges, it's more rigid, more rigid here. Now it's a hollow door, so it's made of this hollow panel stuff. It's not ideal, you don't want a solid door if you can find one. But I'm gonna try and attach it over here and show you. Now it's a little bit tricky to attach it. Now you want the ball to be at sort of eye level. So, that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's attached to the door. As you can see, it's still a little bit flimsy, but other than that, it's not too bad. Now you can see it is vibrating. So it's not sturdy enough, but that's more to do with the door. I can extend this section here, have sort of like an arm going further down and have the bottom uh, set of suction cups further down below here. So that'll reduce the lateral vibration. And I'm out of practice, so I'm gonna stop right there. It's still vibrating a fair bit. I don't like that vibration. I like it to be a little bit more sturdy. So probably next episode or the one after. I'm gonna see if I can attach it to a brick wall over there. I'm gonna paint parts of the wall with the lacquer to make it really smooth so that the suction cups can be attached to it. So stick around for that. Let me know in the comments what you think, any improvements I can make on this and general sort of comments. Make sure you subscribe, tick the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.